I'm not sure if you meant to eat the rind, but I'll eat it anyway. Yeah, I don't think you meant to. Good morning, good morning. We've made it to Orlando. It's 6 a.m. We've got an early start today because we're going to Tampa for a pasta lunch challenge. So uh, got to get in, get it done. After the pre-workout shenanigans, we got into incline bench press. And then the tingle started, so we hit some hammer strength press. Then finished off chest with a pin-loaded machine chest press for high reps. And then of course had to pump a few tricep pushdowns. All right guys, gym's done. That gym was actually really good. Some big boys that know how to train. It's clean, great equipment, had a good workout. Chest and tries done. So now we're gonna go get changed, make our way to Tampa Bay. We're gonna smash some pasta for lunch, so it's gonna be good. It's time to get our pasta pump on. And what a day it's turning out to be. This drive to Tampa is sensational. Nothing like some free open road and great weather to get you in the mood for a food challenge. All right guys, we've made it to Tampa Heights. Very nice area. Some brand new buildings over there, some water over here, but um, we're headed to Public Market. It's kind of like a food court, I guess. Anyway, Public Market, we're hitting up Del Moro's. They hand make pasta. That's gonna be great. So let's get inside guys. You can see here, it's called Public Market. Let's go check it out. This little setup was class. They hand make the pasta, cook it in the back and serve it up fresh to order. You can order from the menu or customize the pasta that you want. So I asked the store manager for his recommendations and the team served me up a storm. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. Today we're at Armature Works. I'm at Del Moro's Pasta To Go. Now this is a takeaway pasta concept made fresh every day. They make the pasta in the back here. They make it fresh to order. I got four pastas. I got some breadsticks, some tiramisu. I'm gonna smash this, guys. I'm hungry. It's to go. All right, three, two, one, let's go. So I'm telling you, I'm glad I came hungry because these pastas don't mess around. I picked up the first pasta and it was heavy. This thing was loaded. The chicken pesto rigatoni with green olives, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, Parmesan cheese and chili flakes. Such a delicious combo. And this was going down so nicely, but I'm telling you, the pasta was packed in and I just kept shoveling. I got the first one down in just under two minutes. It's actually delicious. Okay. Now we're moving on to the Caccia e Pepe Bigoli. That's some big spaghetti, man. Bacon, mushrooms, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese topped with three big polpettes, which are meatballs. And this pasta was even heavier than the last one. Don't mind me. Del Moro's definitely don't mess about when it comes to serving size. By this time, the people had realized what I'm trying to do is nothing short of crazy. Man, only Italians mix pasta and bread. Most people order one pasta between two or eat half of it for lunch and the other half for dinner. All right, man, this one looks chunky. I don't even eat this. Oh, wow. Fettuccine, I was right. Chunky. But I'm attempting to eat four servings of pasta in one sitting. Carbs on carbs, what could go wrong? Whilst these garlic breadsticks were delicious, I knew I had to kick on and move on to the next pasta. The signature Mama Rossa Fettuccine. Now let me tell you, this pasta meant the business. Polpettes, bacon, sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, and lots of chili flakes. These pastas were definitely getting bigger and even more delicious each one I tucked into. Oh yeah, you got it. How about you? I appreciate that. Fettuccine is definitely my favorite pasta noodle and these polpettes remind me of mama's cooking. Tampa locals, you are definitely so spoiled to have something like Del Moro's at your doorstep. Honestly, by this point, the carb coma was real. And this pasta was definitely hitting me. All right, lucky last. It's got some meatballs, 
A lot of parmesan. It's heavy. Hmm. But the end was near. On to the last pasta. Oh wow. This is the twists packed in very tight. This thing's loaded. Now let me tell you, I realized as soon as I picked it up, this was a rookie mistake. I left the largest one until the end. The bolognese for silly. Ooh. This one had polpettes, chicken, and bacon with a lot of parmesan cheese. This was definitely the heaviest of all four pastas I was served. Right. We're getting there. Sorry about that. Sorry. I don't think she wanted her daughter to become a competitive eater. But as we're approaching the 10 minute mark, I could see the end was close. A couple more scoops of this loaded pasta and I thought I was free. Until then, I remembered. I've still got the breadsticks to go. Breadsticks. Carbs on carbs. I'm going to sleep well tonight. But seriously, these garlic breadsticks were delicious. They were soft, a little salty, and not too garlicky. They were actually going down great. And not to mention, my taste buds were salivating for the sorbet and the tiramisu. Last one. I got the lemon sorbet. I'm not sure if you meant to eat the rind. But I'll eat it anyway. No time to mess around. It's all going down the hatch. This was so refreshing. Even the rind. Yeah. I don't think you meant to. But... My bad. It was definitely too late to turn back now. You're definitely not meant to eat the rind. But when in Rome, right? Half the rind was gone, so naturally, I was gonna finish the other half. Alcohol-free tiramisu. The moment I've been waiting for. Tiramisu is one of my all-time favorite desserts. I literally smashed it in four spoons. And there we have it, a good day at the office. 13.53, Whoa. It's a long lunch break for me. But there you have it, guys. That's Dalmoro's Pizza to go. They have a couple of locations, so I'll tag them below, but check them out, guys. That pasta was fresh.